Elliot, Chelsea in the FA Youth Cup fourth round around the corner. Are we looking forward to it? Yeah, absolutely. The boys have prepared um, in training and a warm-up game against Barnsley and we're really looking forward to it. Obviously, um, Chelsea are one of the best in Europe. Uh, that's a given, so we look forward to playing against the best and that's what we play football for, so really looking forward to it. Talk a lot about the preparations, I suppose. it's You're preparing for a game that you're not going to be really used to, an opposition that you're not going to be really used to. Has it been different in that sense? Have we seen a lot more different preparations than we usually would for Youth Alliance games? Um, slightly. Uh, I think we do a, a lot more analysis because of the importance of the game. Um, when we're playing Youth Alliance football, it's obviously it's a different type of football. Um, you know, going a lot longer, etc. Uh, whereas Chelsea will obviously they'll play some football. But we like to do that as well. So we'll look to in preparation. We'll look to analyse them, analyse us, and and play some football, I guess. And how much of an opportunity is it for you as players? Obviously, a big stage in a big competition, a historic competition against, like we say, you know, fantastic opposition. Is it a, an opportunity for you to go out there and show them what you can do in a sense, and not just maybe rely on them to bring the game to you? Yeah, of course it is. I mean. We are a very good outfit, a very good team, and we've showed that playing against Stoke, playing against Carlisle, uh, taking it to extra time and, and, and coming out victorious. So we're very looking forward to it, really looking forward to this game. So we speak a bit about the character as well within the side. Obviously, we've seen this season, especially the first team, a lot of be a lot of being made about the character coming back from losing positions and stuff like that. But we've seen that in the youth team as well, haven't we? In the previous games, in the youth cup, especially you know against Stoke in the last round, and then even Carlisle before that coming back and, and winning in the last minute of extra time. You all feel that as players, you all get on well off the pitch and does that transcend onto the field, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, certainly this year, second year scholarship. So certainly this year I found with the team that we're doing a lot more things away from football as well. And that just creates the, the team bond we have and, and the unity, so to speak. And how much of an opportunity, you know, how much of an experience do you think this will be as well for players, you know, like yourselves, maybe not an experience that a lot of players playing Cat 3 level will get, you know, to test themselves against a team like this on stage like this. You see, you know, things like that coming into, you know, the briefing and things like that. Do we speak about that a lot? Do we concentrate on the experience you're going to get from this game? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's a big occasion, uh, one that the boys are looking forward to. Um, playing against the best teams is, is what we play football for as scholars. So. Um, for some, it could be the biggest game of their lives. It certainly is for me so far, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. And how confident are we as well? Obviously, we've seen in the last round, like we've mentioned, we can you know put ourselves up against Cat One opposition and take them all the way and beat them. Are we confident of being able to, to replicate that and do that again with the results that we've had this season with players we've got in the side? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're looking to go down there and get through to the next round. It's it's the FA Cup. Anything can happen, um, and obviously, those boys are. Obviously up for it, it's a massive game and um, we want to go and, and beat Chelsea and certainly put up a fight.